Hey guys, RevitUp7 here. Um, today is going to be another video like the Diora 3 review. Um, Hot Wheels recently has been doing a lot of remakes and I don't know if the word is sequel or next installment or generation, but like another generation of a lot of their classic cars. They got Diora 3, they got um, a Twin Mill electric car I just saw, like Twin Mill Generation E or something like that. But today I went to Walmart and I came across this. Roger Dodger 2.0 and this for one caught my eye because it's in a classic paint scheme from the original Roger Dodger uh, red line from like the early 70s and two because I half really like it and I half think it's stupid and I'm going to talk about that right now so I'm going to open this one up and explain and compare it to the original Roger Dodger and uh, another Roger Dodger that I picked up while getting this one part of the uh, Larry Wood 50th generation 50th anniversary um, series, another Roger Dodger, but here, for Roger Dodger 2.0, first thing you'll notice, the front end of it looks a lot like Fast Fish, and a, in my opinion, a, f I don't know, fifth generation Camaro, kind of reminds me of a fifth generation Camaro Z28 and Fast Fish at the same time. I don't really know what's going on here with the motor. I, maybe I should read the back of the card and see if it explains. I'll read the back of the card for you guys. Um, Roger Dodger 2.0 delivers monster torque via four electric motors. One for each wheel. See, I'm not a huge fan of all these cars being like electric. And I know it's 2019 and it's the future, but it's not really muscle cars. Muscle cars will never be cool as electric cars in my opinion. I don't know. I knew I knew it was four electric motors or something, but you got the paint, the hot rod paint scheme, and it's just no sound. Whatever. Uh, this next gen muscle car rockets from zero to sixty in one point two seconds and tops out at three hundred and seventy four miles per hour. It's funny they got like precise numbers for a fantasy car, but uh, yeah, I like the fender flares. I love the paint scheme, and uh, for back end inspiration, definitely a new generation Challenger. That's what it reminds me of. Like a Dodge Demon rear end. Uh, I got all these exhausts. Um, is that a diffuser? That's a diffuser. That's not exhaust. This canopy here. See, another thing. There should be a window here, a roof, and uh, it would look so much better. But instead, it's got this kind of ugly, like, supercar moonroof sort of thing. I don't like this. I don't like that at all. I wish I had a window, maybe a more door detail and a roof it would look so much better but yeah it's not bad i definitely like it more than uh, diora 3. here's the original roger dodger in the same paint scheme that we have roger dodger 1.0 it's pretty beat up but yeah it's, it's what this car is based off of this is more like a dodge challenger and i forgot what else uh, roger dodger's inspired by a couple other cars maybe a like a 70s, not 70s Mustang. What does this look like? It's really, to me, Roger Dodgers looks like a, like a goofed around, like he goofed around with the Challenger design. It doesn't look like there's that many other cars that inspired it. But yeah, here's the comparison. You got both motors. This is a giant blown V8. This is four electric motors for each wheel. Really though, this would look so much better. Oh yeah, even the flames are very similar. Look at that flame on the rear uh, rear portion of the car, the trunk area. It's the same thing. Same thing with the hood. It's the same thing. I, I like this. It's not bad. It could have been better though. I like these wheels. They kind of remind me of the C4 Corvette wheels. Um, Alright, now for this, I'm going to be keeping this in the box, but I also picked up this regular Roger Dodger for the Larry Wood 50 years, 1969 to 2019 set of cars that he designed. If you don't know Larry Wood, he's like a legendary Hot Wheels designer. He's designed everything you see here from Purple Passion to Bone Shaker. He's a complete legend in the uh, diecast car community. And uh, yeah, this is a nice white with green and orange flames Roger Dodger with this nice green windshield and I love the way this car looks. Very nice. This one's different than the uh, 60s or seven, more 70s Roger Dodger. Uh, this one's motor is way more obnoxious and it's actually a separate piece, I think. And uh, the exhaust comes up through the 
um, hood area. This one has side pipe exhaust and a less crazy motor. I like this look actually, I don't know, maybe a little more, I'm not sure. Very cool, I love the green, orange, and white paint scheme. Reminds me of Avenger, the monster truck. And you got some cool concept art for the card art. I'm leaving this in the box. This is 10 out of 10 in that set. Uh, Roger, Dodger. This set includes Purple Passion. Uh, I don't know what year Chevrolet that is. Maybe a 53 Chevy. A, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus. A Cobra Daytona, I think that's what that's called. You got some custom Mustang Boss. You got Bone Shaker. Um, is that car called Wild Thing or something? This one right here? I don't think it's called Wild. Something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, you got that Willie's Gasser. Not Willie. Willie's Gasser? Am I not thinking of the right stuff here? Um, man, what is this stuff? I'm going by the concept art. I'm not sure what that is. And then you got the 32 Ford and then Roger Dodger. Man, I was going to tell you guys the other cars in the set, and I can't recognize any of them for the concept art on them, but whatever. I might get some more of these because I love the card art and some of the cars in the series, like that Bone Shaker and Purple Passion. I might pick those up and do a review. But until uh, then, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Bye.